really looking forward to this. I've done all my jobs this morning. The washing machine's on, dishwasher's loaded. Oh, bathroom's cleaned. Current buns! I love current buns. No, it's mine. I've worked really hard for this and I'm looking forward to it. No. No, you're not sharing it. Mine. My precious. No. My precious. No. Give it me. No. Give it me. It's no. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> oh, look what you've done. <sighs> wow. We're already on week five of our big story of the Bible. We are. Let's remind ourselves of where we've got to so far. Okay, so, at the start, God made Adam and Eve and the beautiful garden. He put them there because he loved them and wanted them to love him back. And for a while, that's what happened. But then, they wanted to do things their way and not God's way, and that spoiled everything. Hmm. That meant people were far away from God. But God wasn't far away from people. No. He still loved them and wanted to make things right for them. So he made a promise with Abraham to be his friend, to give him a big family and to bring him up to a promised land and to bless the whole world through that family. Last week we saw how King David fulfilled many of those promises by loving God, by ruling that wonderful land in a good way and by showing that God was the real king of everything. Kind of like getting back to the garden. Mm, that's right. So what happened next? Well, King David was a very good king, and last week we saw how he ruled over God's people in God's special land, and everyone was happy. But you know, God had given his people some rules for living in his land. A bit like rules you get at school. Hmm. There were ten main rules for the people living in the land of Israel. There were rules like, don't tell lies to each other. Don't steal. But the first rule was the most important rule. Mm, the first rule was very simple. And very important. The first rule was this. God said, I'm your God. Don't have any other gods. What does that mean? Well, what's most important to you? God. Hm, good answer. But for some people, fast cars or big houses or lots of money are more important to them. Mm, OK. And when those things become the most important thing in their lives, it's like they become God. Uh, so God was very worried that his people would stop being his. That's right. He was worried that his people would forget about him and start thinking about all those other things instead. Mm, those gods would just pretend gods. Yeah. And following the wrong thing is a terribly big mistake. In fact, it's the worst mistake you can make. So God warned them with his very first rule. Don't have any other gods. Well, we already saw King David was a good king. Mm -hmm. He made some mistakes, but in the end he always said sorry to God and he turned back to doing things God's way. But then King David got old and died and his son Solomon became king instead. Hmm, king Solomon was very clever. Hmm. And when he was king, on the outside, it looked like everything was good. His palace was full of gold and jewels. He had a great big throne made of ivory and gold, with great big carved lions and armrests. When Solomon was sitting on his throne, he looked very wise and very powerful. And even other kings and queens used to come and bow down to him. But that was only on the outside. Because Solomon was making a very big mistake. Here's what he did. Instead of just having one wife, he decided to have lots of wives. After all, he was king. And he could do whatever he wanted to. But that wasn't the real problem. Now, the real problem was that the wives he married became more important to him than God. Why was that? Because he spent so much time trying to make all his wives happy hmm. that he forgot about his relationship with God. <sighs> Did he get a bit like me with that current <laughs> bun? Hey precious! No! Give it me! That's right, he got greedy. <laughs> yeah, and when the king gets greedy, the rest of the people follow him. That's it. Solomon lost sight of what's important. Hmm. God. And before long the whole country had lost sight of him. King Solomon had made a terrible mistake. He was doing just what God said not to do. <laughs> just like Adam and Eve did in the garden. That's right. 
and God was very, very sad. Do you remember what happened when Adam and Eve disobeyed God? Yeah, they were sent out of the garden. Hmm. What do you think will happen to Solomon and the people of Israel? Well, I guess they'll be sent out of the land. Well, here's what God said to Solomon. And it's very, very sad because everything had been so good when his father David had been king. God said, Solomon, because you wouldn't obey me, I'm going to take your kingdom away from you. And next week we'll see that's exactly what God does. Mm. I wonder. I wonder why Solomon made other things more important than God. I wonder how Solomon felt when he realised God was so sad with him. I wonder what you do that sometimes make, makes other people sad. Our song today is called David Was a Mighty King. Listen out for the verse about Solomon. And see if you can spot the clue to what might be coming next. David was a mighty king, he beat Goliath with a sling. David was a mighty king, he beat Goliath with a sling. But Jesus, Jesus, he's the best king of all. He's the way, he's the one, he's the Lord of lords. He's the Lord of Lords, He's the Lord of Lords. David's son was Solomon, he built a home to call God's own. David's son was Solomon, he built a home to call God's own. But Jesus, Jesus, He's the best king of all He's the way, he's the one He's the Lord of Lords He's the Lord of Lords He's the Lord of Lords Israel's kings rejected God they failed to follow him as Lord. Israel's kings rejected God. They failed to follow him as Lord. But Jesus, Jesus, he's the best king of all. He's the way, he's the one, he's the Lord of lords. He's the Lord of lords. the clue you'll need to wait till next week to see if you were right our picture today shows king solomon clinging to his possessions mm. god's crown is crossed out above him showing his rebellion his turning away from god's rule let's pray dear god we're sorry for the way we sometimes make things around us more important than you Help us to make you the most important thing in our lives. Amen. Amen. Why not join us with our interactive Lord's Prayer? When, when I, I touch, touch my head, head I, I think, think of you, you Father, Father God. God. When, when I, I put, put my hands over my heart, heart I remember to show you my love. When, when I, I put my hands together, I ask you to come and make everything right. When, when I touch my mouth, I ask you to give us the food we need. When I bow my head, I say sorry for the wrong things I have done. When I lift my head, I know you forgive me. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me be friends with everyone. Amen. We'll see you next time when we'll see what happens next in the big story of the Bible. Bye for now.